Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner on our hard mode series. We are picking up pretty much where we left off. Let's jump in. We were trying, and it's probably going to prove even worse now, to just get this trailer out of here. So if I can attach... Oh, it's not let me... If I can attach my winch to that. We'll see if we can pull it up. I want to go down with it, but if we can go up for a little bit, get it moving, then that's a start. And break off. Don't want to waste too much time trying to do this. Just want the trailer to budge a bit, please. Please and thank you. There we go. So we're going to need to keep this moving. We're not going anywhere specific with it. I just want to get it into the map to, to be sort of where we want to use it. I think I'm going to take it through into, or at least take these beams through into Island Lakes. So I'll get them off here and into the back of one of our um, sideboard beds. That's what we'll do. One of our semi-trailer ones. And then we'll, uh, once we've just got this out and onto the sort of the main road going through the map, we'll uh, probably jump into the Fleet Star and tackle a few other jobs. I might do a little bit of a combination job with uh, getting the fuel crates or the, their, their, their cargo containers out of the quarry. And we might do them one at a time with the fleet start and bring them up onto the main road and then load them into a semi sideboard on the white and then deliver it with a white that might be what I go for that may work out to be a little bit more time efficient than driving the fleet star back and forth twice if we only have to do the long trip with the white western once And I hate trying to get a long trailer or pull. They, they, there are some, um, I think they're there still, on a trailer down in the quarry. But trying to pull that out is sometimes an absolute nightmare in itself. We are doing this episode in the same uh, load instance as the last one, so there's there's no reset of terrain or anything like that. We've still got the churned up route from where we've been through it a million times. On that topic, because this comes up quite a bit when we do our stream series, so by all means chip in, especially those on PC more than console. Does your terrain reset every time you change maps or every time you leave the game and come back in because like our understanding there's a little community is that it's it resets when you leave the map or when you save the game come out and load back in again my terrain more often than not doesn't seem to do that even when i come back in after a few days i still have the tire tracks and churned up terrain that i had like on the streams from the previous streams and sometimes it's just flickering in and out like the game is trying to load both up sometimes it's there completely uh, we had a couple of streams where we did a lot of jobs in Alaska where we were traveling through multiple maps and there was no reset of terrain not that I want it I, li I like that it gets churned up I like you know as much as I struggle I like that the game is difficult with things like that I'd like more of it. I'd love for the terrain to just stay churned up the whole time, no matter how many times you've been down there, how many times you've been in and out. Now, on console, we know that this resets. But on PCs, I find some people are finding there's reset, and others maybe not so much. So, why, why is that? Do you find that your terrain resets every time? Do you find it resets sometimes? 
do you get the flickering terrain like I get quite often where I've got a reset terrain and my old terrain but I'm trying to compete with being present now we won't see that today because we've already been going for an hour so it's, so it's all terrain that we've done today on this map but yeah let me know because I am intrigued by it Now, before I go any further, I am just going to check whether this requires metal beams at any point. Because I know that that was, that was something that you do. You do have to bring metal beams here at some point. Uh, lumber mill power lines, that's something else. So, out with the old. Uh, two metal beams to the drilling site. So, yeah, I'm going to leave these here. There we are. I knew they'd be required for something. I won't sure if we'd already done it or not. Like I say, I have so many saves when I'm parallel that I'm not always certain what I've done where and when. So we'll go and get some fuel from the farm. Because that's what we do. We have fuel at the farm. We'll go get some fuel from the farm. And then hook up our semi sideboard trailer bring that over to near the quarry we'll jump in the fleet start and then hopefully we have to get the oversized I think they're oversized cargo containers or just cargo containers out of the quarry load them up and then deliver them to where they need to go Unfortunately, when you're not brave enough to do everything with one truck, <laughs> we do have to do the same route with two trucks. Okay, I'm just trying to be safe now. I want to try and get through Michigan without too many more incidents. I think once we get to login, we're going to have a couple of incidents because I always do with logs and the routes picked. Although, again, trying to be more sensible. We, we might be alright, we might be alright. I'm just intrigued to see how well we do when we get to Alaska, because on my other on my other series, I, sorry, I talk about both series a lot. On my other series, if you want to come watch it, by the way, live over on Twitch, usually on a Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes a Saturday. But yeah, on that one, we, because it's a normal mode, we, we lit, without any cheaty mods or anything like that, we we blitzed through Alaska pretty quick and it was you know other than a couple of little rolls with the ANK and one where I was messing about with um, X47 just trying to get up a mountain to see if I could uh, we've had very little incident I've got stuck a few times and you know frustration of trying to get out but we've gotten through that really well we had a stream where we got like 13 deliveries done in about three hours it was really good really productive that's why I get frustrated with myself here on hard mode on a much easier map and fail at every attempt to do anything. Just seems extra brutal at the minute.
so we shall refuel. So we'll find our semi trailer. Trying to go around the edge of the farm. It's quite treacherous through the field. So we've already come down here once in the last episode. We may get a little, a little interruption in a minute, so I can hear doors going, so that means my uh, my son's on the move, probably going to play on his Xbox, but I did turn it all on and have a setup for him, so hopefully it won't get too much of an interruption, but if we do, that's why we pause. Just so you know. Nothing nefarious going on if we get a little, little sudden jump in the edit. seconds. Sorry about that. So we'll just hook up on the back and we'll see if we can get a little repair or anything done while we're here. Do I want this one? Yeah, it'll be alright. It'll be alright. <laughs> I prefer a sideboard. I don't think we have a sideboard. I think we already we took the sideboard through that had the wood, obviously. It's gone. So do we have what do we have down here? We've got a service trailer. We have a fuel carrier and then a scout fuel carrier fuel carrier there. We've got so much fuel down here. I think that one was coming back up. That one was coming back up. Perhaps I need to pull this one through. So much. So much going on. Right. I think for most of the jobs, actually, in in Island Lakes, they probably use the twin stair. I'm sure we fixed it and repaired that all up, haven't we, and moved it. Again, I forget. I'm sure we fixed that and put it to a, to a better spot. Not 100% though. If this was a, a side bed, I'd probably take the shortcuts up to the delivery point on this next job. But with, uh, with, it, with it just being a flat bed, I probably won't. Because I'll just be losing them all the time. <laughs> Oh, 
bit of the oil you triggered that. I'm sure that's the one that's put the oils out on the map. Or is it the one that puts the extra oil ones down on that side? If I park here, that should leave me space to uh, turn the other truck around and do as I come. So if we jump to the Fleet Star. Should we put it on the job that I'm going to do? Yeah, it's this one. Not that one. Fuel order, that's the one. I was trying to avoid the old, the old cultivate, but we got it anyway. That might be an old chisel. Again, this is a, this will be a process that I've done many times in the quarry. Oh, no doubt, this will not go how I usually do it. <laughs> because at the minute, this game is enjoying being brutal to me. Like I say, there is a trailer down there, but I find getting that trailer out to be an absolute nightmare. And it's probably just because I'm trying to take it the wrong route, or try to do silly things with it. But if I can safely just pull the, tra the cargo containers out one at a time, then all's good. to nuff up the suspension on the fleet star as well. Since we were a little bit a little bit brutal before. Fleet star's got its own woes coming. Doesn't need extra. We're about to lose it into the quarry. I don't like the thought of this gonna gonna be a thing that's gonna happen overnight as well. But not how quick I can do it.
You know, it's going to be a little bit like how we came down with the goods to get things set up down here. Try and be slow and methodical. Let's make sure it gets done. thinking it might even be worthwhile just to save a couple of litres of fuel although it's gonna screen me by moving them rocks around Now, I always try and pull that trail around here, which always causes problems. I'm not going to now because it's the wrong truck. But if we'd have pulled it the other way, it might have been better. But what we want to do is unpack these and then one at a time take them up. Again, you don't have to use these, but they're there, why wouldn't we? Hopefully our supports will go out alright. Take the wrong way round. Try and get it squared up somewhat. Okay. Let's try and get it out. Now the the nerve the nervous bit comes when I try, I try and do a three point turn at the top here. We'll see how well that goes. Now I have in the past reversed all the way up here, but we're not going to be trying that today. Rock's now going to cause me an issue. There we go. It's the sort of thing we're trying to avoid, the bouncing. And the idea is that we go around the tree to get less of a camber trying to turn with it. 
We got lights on, it seems super dim. Hug the trees for the climb. the odds on that support strut not going where I wanted it to. playing games with me. See what happens if I... Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Next one. You know, you don't have to uh, load them into another trailer. You can, you could, you could run these individually if you want us. If you're really good, I'm sure you don't even need to do this. You can come and grab that trailer and pull it out and do your own thing. But oh, I do struggle with that. Fine for fuel. See what our anchor does this time. And because we can't sell the trailers, it doesn't matter if we leave the trailer here. It's not one that we're going to need. Let's go to turn around a little bit for us. Again, personally, I find that the nimble Fleet Star is better for coming down the quarry than, than some of the other trucks that we have available. But, like I say, personal choice. You use whatever 
vehicle you want. It's the great thing about this game, there are so many ways to do in everything. I don't think any two people have ever have the uh, the same experience or the, the same journey through any of the maps but said before even if you try and follow someone else's playthrough something different will happen for you you will get stuck somewhere else you may roll somewhere you may anything anything could happen and that'll just start to veer you off on a different course completely angle on this one. So we'll just going to try and square ourselves up a little bit. Less bounce. Please and thank you. And again, I just like to go around the tree just to bring myself around a little better. If you take off the diff for that, you'll find you get a better turn and circle. on the back. Let's see if we get a swim around quickly for us. somewhat facing in the right direction and then we'll try a sneaky pack all. Start crane and lights on. Off we go. We need to take these, in case you don't know where we're going, to our warehouse. Like I say, if we the if we had the sideboard semi trailer I'd, I'd risk maybe one or two of the shortcuts but I think with what we've got here again I'll play it safe just to ensure, just to make sure that the, the delivery gets done we don't need to, to try and show off Plenty of time in the day to take the long route, to take the safe route. You know, it's tempting when the tracks present themselves like that, just as you're coming into it. It's like, oh, it'd be easy, you want to shoot up there. 
easy until you lose your containers. Let's try and get ourselves a pretty wide berth using the rock. I think the weight on the back made the, uh, <laughs> the front tyres lift a little. Now this is always a fun bit. When we did this on the trip, the Twitch series, the uh, the trailer fell off the back. Some of you may have seen the short of that. If you haven't even seen the episode, that was uh, that was quite something, <laughs> to say the least. I was doing it with the Fleet Star as well, we were going down, I had uh, one on the on the bed and one in a, a full trailer behind, yeah we just sort of, sort of lost it a little bit, everything was recovered, uh, all, all was well, but yeah it was, a, it was a risky one, again like I say there are many ways to do many jobs.
and with your own playthroughs, like you don't have to limit yourself to like just doing one map at a time or one region at a time. I know from talking to some of the community members, everyone plays it differently, even on hard mode. Like there's one of the chaps saying that he uh, he went out with his scout, sort of tuned up as best he could, and he went out to like the first three, maybe four maps, and just collected up all the upgrades and hit as many of the towers as he could before even starting any sort of deliveries on any map. Like they're there, they're there for you to use. They're there for you to collect and get, and, you know, do do each each their own. Like I'd love to be able to 100% each map before we before we leave. Um, but I think there's going to be some tasks, some challenges that I can't do. It's, you know, skill issue, as they say. Uh, but we'll, we'll do our best. And you know, we can always come back. If I if I improve or find a vehicle that might be able to do something a little bit better than, than what we've been able to do so far, we can always come back and try and get that one hundred, that one hundred percent completion done. Things like that don't help though. Oh, blimey! Is that a track come round? I was more concerned with getting that trailer to come round than anything else. And we have a timed jobby here. I think this is delivering something down into the swamps, as I call them. So let's... So there's another nearly three grand. So we're up to just under 75,000. Uh, Level-wise, we're at level 13. 75% done here. So, I believe that job is... That going under? I think that's the one that it is. It's concrete blocks to a flooded house. Again, for that one, you really want to be able to take your shortcuts. I don't think with that, the open trailer is really the trailer to take to do that. But also, I don't think I need, need or want this trailer anymore. So I am going to drop it off around here. If we want it, we can come get it later. Not going to like delete the trailer or anything, but it's out of the way. And what I would like to do with my my night on this episode, what time is it? Yeah, is go. I have to stay in the map. I would like to go and come and collect at least one of these fuel trailers and bring it back up. Even if it's by taking it through here. I'd like to get a fuel trailer, maybe even the service trailer back, but I don't think I will. Yeah, I think I'd like to move one of the fuel trailers. So I think that's what I'm going to go and do. We don't need three fuel trailers blocking up at that, that entrance when we've got other areas where we need to get fuel. It would be nice to have a fuel trailer up here. Even if it's just a one of the uh, the small uh, scout ones, because we've got I think two of them or one of them down there as well. I mean that may even be what we need to do first to make sure we've got enough fuel in here. I might just bring the landy down to meet her. That might be the wise thing. Use fuel to collect fuel. But hopefully collect more fuel than what we use.
because I know we're going to get through a fair bit of fuel trying to cross the, uh, the swampy marshland. I don't know what that area is called. I always call it swampy marsh. That's what it feels like, a swampy marsh. The, uh, the shortcut. No, it's here. We can go down here. I'm just going to mark them because I will miss it if not. And then we'll go along here and we'll try and roll down that. trying to do this with the uh, the five slot flatbed semi trailer I don't think so and we don't want that that route we want one a little bit further along will take us out to where we want to be I'm just, just trying to wonder if half a tank of fuel will get me across there or not They're not knowing that kills you. <laughs> no, I don't think we will. Then we've got a flat tyre as well. Oh, probably won't do that. Right. So I want to go down there. I want to risk it for a biscuit. I can't remember which down this side. This is the route I normally go. It's no wonder we've got a broken tyre. So where is my track is on the right? I'm going to park here. In the Land Rover, because that has got some fuel in it. Not a lot. Crikey. Um, it's got hardly any fuel in it. We've drained it. Okay. Looks like we're heading to the farm to get some fuel to bring here. Or to put in here. Is it time to bring the Kodiak through? Because I don't want to empty out that other fuel trailer. Where is our Kodiak? It's here. I don't want it there anyway. So let's go get that. Oh, that's where my uh, <laughs> trailer is. Okay. Yeah, let's go get the Kodiak. <clears throat> wow. 
well, that was the uh, the longest load time I think we've ever had. I was worried that the game had crashed. Right. Now this doesn't have as much fuel in as I thought it had. All our fuel is sitting at the entranceway to Island Lakes or in Island Lake. I think there's a large trailer somewhere else as well. Uh, at least as well, once we get this through, I can try and look at maybe some upgrades for it. Put a better gearbox on. I think we've got a better gearbox for it still. Kodiak will get better as we progress through. There's some upgrade specifics for, I think, in Alaska. I think there's even some on uh, one or two of the DLC maps. Which I know some people are a little bit, you know, off with but to get the best out of some of the trucks, especially the base game trucks, that you have to get the DLC to get the upgrades. But those upgrades weren't included until the DLC. So if you only had the base game at base game, those <laughs> they weren't upgrades you could get. They, they were things that, you know, Saber added in to you know, improve trucks along the way so they could try and, you know, keep up with some of the newer trucks that came in that were always a little bit better. We will grab our... Is it facing the right way? It is, because this is what we pulled with it. Although I think it was nearly empty, wasn't it? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It's not got a lot. We'll bring it through either way. Hopefully the Kodiak will be fine with uh, getting through the horrible mud. If not, we'll have to pull it through with, <laughs> with the P16. This could uh, turn into an absolute disaster, but we need to get that trailer through so I can move some fuel about a little bit better. Stay over this side enough, even if you get stuck, you should be able to winch yourself off that post. That's always my thinking. But I do believe we've got some decent tyres on. I think that's got jats on as well. So. I believe we were going to bring it for a while back. And then I decided I was going to do the other jobs, didn't I? And then I needed to refuel and, and do and go on. Went full on me. The same way that we'll need to bring fuel back when we have more logging to do here. But hopefully we'll have cleared. We'll have, we'll have done all the other jobs before we start logging. So we won't need to have so much stuff out on the map. Just the, the odd tanker to help top us up as we go through, but then we'll know the runs we want to run, so we'll know where to place our fuel tankers along the way. Mainly, you know, logging points and then uh, map entrances and exits sort of thing. So you make sure you've got a full tank as you come in. back to the dam. Skip that, we've seen that a few times. Now, whilst sitting in the pond within my load screen, I think what I'll do, I'm going to top up the Land Rover, but I'm not going to move the Land Rover. We'll then take this Kodiak and the, uh, the few small repair points that are in it. And we'll park that up in that lay-by where the White Western is. Because we're going to have to come that way with other things. I think that will make sense. And then we'll get the, the White Western to pull a trailer. Hopefully, probably not now today because we've run out of time. Uh, then get the White Western to pull a trailer up 
to the top of this garage. We can then get a scout to take a trailer to the exit entrance going into uh, Drummond. Not Dr yeah, into Drummond. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, Michel. Come out of the fuel tank and we'll go into the camel and in the roof rack. Uh, we've got like seven, not a lot, like 700 litres, but as we come through, we should only need to top up. If we've got something to uh, do a little refill as you come into the map, and then some do a little refill here, then or, or at the, uh, the lay-by. We're going to have a fuel tanker over by the logging camp eventually, but we've got the one in the farm that's going to do sort of, sort of other big refills. We're going to be drip feeding our trucks as they come through, that's, that's what we're going to be doing. Because we have things to come through from Drummond Island onto this map. We have quite a few things. And some of the stuff that we have to get from the lake, I'm not sure if we have to bring them through to here, but they have to go to Drummond, so. Oh, naughty. Proper naughty now. What's the time, by the way? It's 7 o'clock. We've got enough time to get a little bit closer. We did start a little bit late because we overran last time, but we'll, we'll try and stop as close as we can to uh, 8 o'clock. Doesn't give us long. Nice if that was one of them things that popped up when you did that. It was actual date, the time of day. A bit late to be asking for uh, upgrade, updates and upgrades to change things in the game like that, I think, though. Let's see if we can get to the... Hopefully we can get to the Fleet Star. We'll top up the Fleet Star anyway. Because, uh, again, we've got jobs to do with the Fleet Star. That'll be out collecting fuel and things. Unless I decide to take the White Western back and put, put a bed on the back of that. That's a possibility. I'm not sure if it will handle all the jobs as well. It would, it would. I don't know why I doubt it. I know it would, it would. I'm just used to my nimble fleet star. And uh, I didn't forget to uh, go and check for upgrades. I think the Kodiak upgrade that I want is the gearbox. Is one that's on a different map. I think it's in Alaska. Star. Like I said there's not a lot in here. If we can, it'd be nice to pull. Oh, we'll stop here. It'd be nice to maybe pull two trailers. I don't know. I don't know. If we've got massive trailers of fuel that we just don't have access to at the minute because they are on two other maps. But there's, there's so much out there. It's just that it's not where I want it. Um, but anyway. That weren't, that weren't too bad. We got uh, quite, a, you know, a tough job done using the the white and the fleet delivering the two large um, cargo containers. That went pretty well. Again, multiple ways of doing that job. That's just my preferred way of doing it on hard mode. It's just a little bit safer. But I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on. 
find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there massive thank you for the support on the series any any feedback is great and uh, you guys have a wonderful day hopefully i'll see you again soon bye bye